Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, let's see. I gotta fix my clocks. People are making comments about this. Anyway, it's about 6.30. It is, because this is an hour off. It is April 17th, Friday, 17.5 degrees. And the reason why it's an hour off is I've been trying to fix it and it won't fix. Look at that, my batteries are not fully charged. My energizer there, because it's kind of late in the day and it's been overcast, actually rained quite a bit this morning. So 64 degrees. Homie likes this weather. Homie likes this weather a lot. So what did I do today? I woke up. That's a good thing to do, right? I worked a two day, two day run, my 24 hours, 26 hours, whatever it turns out to be. Last night was very, very busy. What happened was um, we had to replace a, they call it a four line, it's a vacuum line from all the way upstairs to all the way downstairs. It comes in about 10 sections. The people we have do it are kind of minimum wage folks and I'm not slamming minimum wage folks. I'll be working at minimum wage before I know it. But um, they're, they're like in a hurry to get the heck out of there. They had started work at like 7 o'clock in the morning. They got called to do this job. And though they were on the overtime clock, um, we kept them there until almost midnight because it was, it was a lot of work. So there were four of them working on it and four of us working on it. So there were eight people working on it. And it turns out what made it take a really long time is nobody believes in putting VCR VCO and the uh, the O-rings in where they're supposed to go in. When you put two pipes together, you don't just clamp metal to metal because it leaks. Something belongs in there, like a VCR gasket, which is a metal gasket that kind of crushes, and you put impressions of the pipe on both sides of it, and that's how you seal. Or VCOs, those are kind of an O-ring gasket with a metal retainer, which keeps everything looking pretty. So, uh, yeah, last night, last night was a lot of work. I got home, I was exhausted, slept like the dead. Then I got up, and I want to do some work in the upper garage. One of the things keeping me out of the upper garage, I think you guys remember, I used the snow blower to uh, rip up my power cord. So, um, how to fix it, I don't know. Everybody likes different versions of these. I love the um, the Hubbles. Uh, a friend of mine used to scrap out extension cords all the time. And a lot of them were well worn so the plugs were replaced. And they'd have Hubbles on them as the second replacement. So he'd cut the Hubbles off and save them for me and then sell them to me for a buck each. So I really like these. This is like a $5 and I, I do like the Hubbles. Um, and obviously what I'm going to do is cut off the dead part of this. Um, I don't know, it's probably about 10 feet. This part still lights up and all. So, as you guys can see, I really did a nice job on this. Anyway, so I want to be up in the upper garage. And to be in the upper garage, it makes it a little easier if you have some electricity up there. Because it seems like everything you try to do, it's like, oh, if I could just plug this in. If I could just plug this in. It's also nice having a radio up there to kind of distract your brain and keep you thinking. You know, when you suffer from attention deficit disorder, you have to kind of have like three things going on at once. If not, you get bored and you do nothing. Oh, um, a quick shout out. A buddy of mine, um, 231 uh, Flash, he's trying to get himself up to a couple hundred subscribers. So do me a favor, go out there, you know, subscribe, give him some grief. He uh, suffers from attention deficit order like I do. He suffers not as bad as I do with hoarding, but he's kind of, I'm working on him. I'm trying to, trying to get him there, right? I don't want to be the only lunatic uh, in this business. So yeah, go see my uh, buddy 231 Flash. He comments frequently, just in case I'm screwing up his, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's 231 Flash. So yeah, go see him. Go visit with him. Oh, and if you subscribe and comment on his videos, he's thinking of uh, raffling off tools so you can get tools out of the deal. So yeah, go see him. Go win yourself a tool. Um, my suggestion to him for the first tool he should raffle off and it's because I, I have a million of them around, just none where I can see them right now. But 
These grinders, he's going to start out with Harbor Freight things, but like the Master um, Drill Master one, that black grinder, the four inch guy. I, I love those things, man. I, I use them constantly, the four inch grinder. There's like always one in my hand. Um, given that I have power up here now, I've just been hopping around, charging batteries, right? Making sure the quad battery's peaked up and it's ready to go. I charged uh, that one up that's just sitting on the floor. And I charged up the one for the Cushman. I don't know if you guys remember where I left the Cushman last. Um, I was having all that trouble with the points, firing arcs all over the place. So I got the ignition system fixed. I got it running good. And um, then it had two problems. For some reason, the throttle screwed up. And I figured out what that was and what it was when I put... When I put the Honda carburetor in here, I had disabled some of this stuff here, so I got that hooked up again. So um, when I put the carburetor back on, I will have a functioning throttle, right? No use having a carburetor if you can't step on the gas, right? Uh, one speed is for bicycles. Um, and that was the first thing. The second thing is... Uh, I had a leak on the carburetor. It turns out there should be a gasket here. And there wasn't one. And I don't think there's ever really been one. Which means this thing's probably been leaking gas for as long as I've owned it. But, you know, I'm trying to do things a little bit more right these days. So I cut out uh, a gasket for it. What I like to use to make gaskets, this is a paper plate. Right. And the paper is a little thicker. Right, then, um, then like, you, you know, printer paper. So I wanted something a little thicker than that, but not huge thick. Um, I mean, other people use shirt cardboard, or um, sometimes when you buy multiple candy bars in a package, they put a piece of cardboard in there to keep things straight. All those things are good. I just happened, for as thin as I wanted this gasket to be, but thick enough that there's actually a little give in there so it seals. Uh, the paper plate seemed perfect. Also, um, to cut the paper plate up, I like these kind of... Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to focus, but... I, I happen to like these um, type of... I'm going to call them scissors. They're actually pruning shears. These cost a whole dollar at your Dollar Tree, if you guys got Dollar Tree anywhere near you. I like also that those kind of come to a point. Makes it easy to poke these smaller holes and cut them. So, uh, yeah, this gasket, I'm about to slam it on. You guys will probably get a cold start video on this thing in the next couple of days. I'm going to... I think I'll publish this video tonight, which means I'm beginning to jump around a little bit. There's a couple of more videos out there uh, for the three-wheelers down in the driveway, the collection of four that I picked up. So I have a couple of those videos out there. So then the, you'll probably get this video and then those videos. Then I got to get this thing running, right? This thing is in the way. Um, by in the way, if it started and drove, it wouldn't be in the way because when I needed to move it, all I'd have to do is turn the key and back it the heck out of there, right? Um, if it's raining, throw a tarp over it and I got a nice place to work. But um, I kind of went into the winter with it theoretically runnable, but from a practical point of view, not runnable. And it, it, really, it really screwed me up. Um, I, I got I to gotta get my act together on uh, having someplace nice to work. Um, so I, I really need to... Uh, to I, this, thing, this thing takes up a lot of space. Like almost, you, you know... Not quite as much space as a as a vehicle, but I mean it's it's not small, and it's also strangely shaped because the tire's out there. See the battery, and then it steps in, right, and then it steps in again for the front wheel. So it's very very hard to um, to put it put this thing away in such a state that you don't take up almost twice as much room as it takes up. So I'd like to get this. 
out of here. I don't know if it's going to live in the lower garage or where I'm going to have it live. I do want it to live under cover, though. I've put a lot of time and effort into this thing. I'm trying to get all my better stuff to live inside. Um, and I've tried to get all my better stuff such that, you know, once again, the tires always have air in them. Like this thing, it's a matter of turning the key, firing it up, and backing it out of here. And uh, the more you actually use stuff like like this the greater the possibility it'll start on the first try instead of having to grind it for you know two minutes to to get it to fire up so i'm uh i'd i'd really like to to do a little better with this um my mouse trap my uh my lift um you know it functioned but not well enough um I, and uh, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not getting rid of it yet. I've, I've not thrown in the towel on it yet. But uh, let's be honest. I'm, a, I'm a tad disappointed. It, it's a little bit rock and roll. I mean, I can, I can bring it up and then set it down on something. But uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. I have another couple of ideas. I've uh this is my second lift that I've I've kind of built. I bought a couple of the um Harbor Freight high lift lawnmower things and they're kind of off in that area over there. Um and I was going to lift a platform and use it to get stuff up there and use it as a working platform, but I really didn't care for the way that worked either. I guess I'm a fussy old prick or something. But um so I wasn't I wasn't thrilled with that and I'm not thrilled with this one either. I just I just kind of have the feeling that I'm going to hear a crash and I'm going to look down and half my foot's going to be amputated. And uh and that kind of makes for a bad day, right? When you're looking down and you know, half your foot is gone and you start screaming for the wife and she's pissed off at me for buying too many all-terrain vehicles so she doesn't respond. You know, so I have to get out one of those four-inch grinders and cut the rest of my foot off and crawl to the house so that I could go to the hospital. Not, not, not good. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking my mouse trap, as Terry liked to call it, uh, is is probably it 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 either needs some more. It needs to get better or it needs to get gone. I, I guess let me let me just make it that simple. Um, 231 is this video getting too long for you anyway go watch his videos guys go check him out uh i'm probably how far am i going to get on this i think i'm going to slam i'm going to try to slam it in tonight um battery's charged it's got gas in it so it should just be a matter of turning the gas on and firing it up so i i don't i'll probably i don't know if i'm gonna i i don't know how to splice videos together um I really wish one of you guys who really knew what you were doing with the whole YouTube and editing videos and all that stuff lived close to me because then I could uh, go and spend, you know, like a half hour, an hour, maybe two hours on the computer with you uh, and, and then there could be an improvement, right? Right now you guys could see I kind of go live and however it comes out, it comes out and that's what you get. And there's goodness to that, right? Because it's reality. But the badness is I should be able to talk about something, show you how to do it, and then show you the outcome all in one video rather than have to do it in two or more videos. So there are pluses and minuses to, to the way we do things. And for as much knowledge as you have, as I have, I'm kind of doing the best I can. All right, guys, I'm going to run. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down and want you to keep your head up. But most of all, make sure you enjoy all your days. Go out there and have some fun. Have some laughs. Enjoy the good weather. It's supposed to make it into the 70s tomorrow. So I'm going to probably be out here and cut off sweatpants, shorts. Um, so there we are. Guys, once again, thanks for watching. And go see my buddy, 231. Go uh, go tell him Harvey sent him. And tell him uh, he needs to hoard a little more. Bye now.